Hi you guys, welcome back to Inside the Hem. I have got a busy month ahead of me. Um, I am going to be reprioritizing my sewing for 2018 because um, as part of my sewing resolutions, which you'll see a video on here maybe next week, um, I have got some plans and some goals and some resolutions that I really want to tackle in 2018. So January is part of the year. <laughs> you can't just ignore January. So I'll be implementing some of that stuff into my makes for, for January. So without further ado, here are the things that I am going to be working on this month. And we're going to start kind of in reverse order maybe. Um, first up is my works in progress. And you remember last year, this was a huge resolution for me. And there were moments where I nailed it. And there were moments when I failed. Like, oh, that's really cute. Nailed it and failed it. I have to work on that. Anyways, I digress. Um, so the first two that I'm going to work on in January are really simple because I want to start off with a bang and I want to feel really, really confident going into the start of the year. So they're just two mending projects. One of them is on the dress form behind me. All I need to do is shorten the shoulders of it. It's just they're way, way, way too long and I didn't make a muslin. So I didn't know that and I was wearing it and it just starts to hang really low. So I just need to take up the shoulders. I've already unpicked them. Literally all I have to do is zip them through my serger. But for whatever reason, that's taken me months and months and months at this point. So I'm not going to act like that's some sort of like gift that it's so simple to do. And it's a no brainer because I haven't done it yet. So there are plenty of excuses as to why I haven't gotten to it thus far. The next one is, I call this the Charles, my Charleston dress because it's made with the art gallery Charleston fabric. Um, and I didn't realize this either. I might have even made a muslin of this one and didn't realize it. But the center front I needed to take in like a lot. Um, you can see I have like safety pins holding it um, like tighter now. So I just need to unpick this and gather it more so that I can take in, I mean, we're talking like maybe an inch and a half or something that needs to come in in this area so that whenever I lean over, it doesn't like basically fall to the ground. I mean, it is very gapy there. So I just need to do like some afterthought reshaping. Um, I do love this pattern though, but um, with like the little, you know, ruched midriff I guess you call it um but yeah I just need to unpick this and tighten this whole thing up so that it doesn't gape so much so yeah those are those two things that I need to tackle and hopefully I can do that like in a day and be done with it and feel good that you know I am tackling the works in progress slash mending bin um this is one that I am 90 percent actually 95 percent of the way done with I posted this on my Instagram it was the twirly one um but I need to hand sew the lining into place right now it's only held down by pins and I just need to sit down, watch a movie or some Netflix or whatever, and finish that up. Literally, the sleeves are on and hemmed, the skirt is hemmed, like everything is ready to go, and this one will be done. I love this fabric so much. I got it on our trip to Montreal, not last year, but sorry, not in 2017, but in 2016, or maybe it was early 2017. I can't remember exactly when we went. Um, and it is a, I think it's a cotton and silk blend twill um and it's just it was a dream to work with it's a dream to wear um easily one of the most expensive fabrics i've ever worked with it was a gift from my boyfriend i never would have spent this amount of money on fabric myself um but i really love what i made and because they sell in meters and like i'm not too good at that conversion i have like a whole bunch like a yard and a half left over so i think i'll be able to make maybe some shorts if i can tackle those um this summer so i'll have two garments made of like a really cool fun fabric that i really really love so yeah, just gotta get that squared away. Um, now we move on to, okay, so I talked to you guys about this a little bit in my 
favorites, my 2017 favorites video about how I've been really getting into like the home decor thing a little bit um, because of my Cricut Maker. So in the in 2018, I want to kind of try and add that into my sewing plans more often. Little, little projects that take a couple of hours at most. Um, and first up is um, pillows for my sofa my main sofa in my living room. So I got this, um, I think that it's some kind of linen. I got it from Joanne. It's navy. I have kind of like a navy as an accent color, kind of all throughout the apartment. Not so much in here, but in the living room, in the bedroom, um, definitely got a navy accent thing going on. So I just want to make some throw pillows. My sectional is brand new. I got it when I moved here because my itty bitty sofa that was in the itty bitty apartment before this one is now in the sewing room and I needed like a much bigger sofa to fill the space um, in the living room because it's like the living room is as big as almost my entire <laughs> old apartment. Um, and it came with pillows, but they suck. They're like the same fabric as the sofa itself and just factory and they're lame. So um, I made some pillows for Thanksgiving and Christmas and now I just wanna make some that would be there like year round um, that I use all the time when there's not like a special occasion holiday type thing going on. So I've got this navy and then I've got this really pretty metallic iron-on vinyl from Cricut. And I want to do something on the pillows, but I'm not sure if I want to do like symbols, like, I don't know, arrows or I don't really know. I have kind of like, I'm doing the very cliche kind of farmhouse sort of. I've got like um, raw wood shelves um, with black metal brackets. Um, and then like a lot of like, wood like the coffee table is um sort of restoration hardware um what's that like train track trellis um you know big chunky wood um coffee table and then um got some like mixed metals like i've spray painted some things gold the same gold that i used for the um light fixture in here i love that gold spray paint um so yeah, I don't, it's more like a, a glammed up version of that because the rug is kind of like um, Indian inspired, it's like red, it's got a hot pink in it and also a little bit of navy. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe, I don't want to do words necessarily. So it has to be a symbol of some kind, but maybe like arrows or... Maybe even just like little triangles, like make a cute little design with triangles. Or it might be cute to like juxtapose all of the like manly metals and thick wood pieces with like some kind of florally print like design. Like almost make a print with this. That's a thought. Anyways, I'm like brainstorming sitting here on the video. That's a waste of your time. I apologize. But that's how my mind works. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make, I think there are four... Three, three pillow, four pillows. I can't remember. Three or four pillows out of this um, navy linen. So that should be fun. Um, I've also got my ginger jeans cut out, um, ready to go. So I'm gonna sew those up in January. It'll be like my wearable muslin. But I also ordered the Ames jeans pattern from Cashmerette. So I kind of want to pull these pieces out and look at them side by side with the muslin that I, like my final, final muslin that I've gotten with the ginger jeans and see how they compare. Um, I might try and make these just to kind of show myself and show you guys um, how they compare to my first pair of gingers. Um, Cause I recognize that not everybody has the same fitting issues as I do and God bless you for that. Um, so I thought maybe, I don't know, I have this, so we'll see, we'll see what I end up doing with it. I'm only hesitant because I literally spent hours on the ginger jeans muslin and I'm not really feeling up for that again, not so soon. It's like 
too early. I still have like the PTSD from the, <laughs> from the ginger alterations. So, but I will have some jeans at the end of the month, which will be really cool and really fun. And then I've got my cone mills denim that I won from the ginger jeans party. So I need to figure out something to make with that stuff because it's so nice. So yeah, so we'll see where I end up with, with jeans at the end of the month. Um, we are also in a brand new year of So My Style. Um, I might have fallen off the wagon there at the end of the year and that's fine. I'm okay with that, but it's a new year and kind of a whole new Sew My Style. So Bluebird Fabrics was hosting it last year. She cannot take on that responsibility this year. And so um, Jessica from Little Mr. Lorraine is um, kind of heading it up and then she's got like a team of girls that are um, helping support everything. So the first pattern for January is the Sunny Top which is adorable because my dog's name is Sunny, but he's S-O-N-N-Y and this is S-U-N-N-Y, but still sounds the same. He gets excited when I talk about it. Um, it's a Sunny Top by Friday patterns. I'd never heard of them before. She's got some really cute stuff. Um, when I went to get the top, well, it's a top or a dress. Um, but when I went to pick that up, I was looking at her other patterns and she's got some cute stuff. So I want to see how this one works out and how like the instructions are and how piecing everything together is, you know, just get a lay of the land for her patterns and see if I like it. And if I do, I will grab some more. But um, so it's basically a knit top or dress, um, like a knit a knit t-shirt dress t-shirt dress is that what they're called yeah so I can't wear t-shirt dresses because of my lovely lumps and bumps I just don't feel comfortable wearing such a thin knit over my bottom half so um I'm going to be making the t-shirt the top version um and I've got this gorgeous modal from style maker fabrics I ordered this maybe I think it was around the time of her spring collection release um but it's the perfect t-shirt material perfect t-shirt fabric so I'm excited in this navy and I thought I could wear that with like jeans like not navy this is not navy this is olive um and I thought I could wear it with jeans like olive navy they go really well together and then it would also transition really well into spring um you know olive is basically a neutral nowadays so I thought I'd make it out of that for my first go and see what I think um, okay, and then lastly, I um, did an Instagram story poll um, a few days ago asking you guys what I should make next, and everyone voted for this Cynthia Rowley um, dress, but I'm going to do the two-shoulder version, not the one-shoulder version. Um, this pattern is designed for Ponty Knits, which is really cool. So you guys have seen this fabric before and I still have yet to decide what to do with it, but I think this is going to be it. It is the one with the white and gold bows that I got from Fabric Mart. I'm pretty sure it was like a Maggie London print. Um, so I want to make that out of this Cynthia Rowley dress. I just think it'd be really cute with like the um, circle skirt that it has and the waistband and all that jazz, I think it will be really cute. So there you have it. Those are all of my plans for January. Um, I've got a lot of things that I'll be making and I'm really excited to make them. I've also got a lot of fun videos for you guys coming up. So I'm just really excited to kick off the new year and I hope you are too. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.